WHO has uh, been clear that there is no specific evidence to suggest that a mask may protect you from infection. Um, um, and uh, equally, a mask may provide uh, a protection for others. If you happen to be symptomatic and coughing, uh, it might stop you uh, contaminating uh, somebody else. Uh, there are uh, a number of issues around the, the broader use of masks. Uh, one in that it may divert mask use from the healthcare setting, and that's something that just cannot happen. Uh, there are issues around wearing those face coverings and disinfecting those face coverings and disposing of those face coverings or masks, and the fact that putting on and off those masks involves people often touching their face uh, as well, and therefore it cannot be done with <laughs> outside the context of very clean hands and proper personal hygiene. Uh, and also, masks are not an alternative to lockdown. Uh, and we've said this publicly again and again. WHO will support countries who are wish to implement a more broad-based strategy of wa mask wearing or face covering wearing uh, on, a more, on a broader basis uh, as long as it's part of a comprehensive strategy, as long as it's linked to the things we said before, community education, personal hygiene, a strategy to find, test, and isolate cases. If mask use is added to that, then I, I, I think that WHO can see the value. But if mask use is used as an alternative to those public health strategies, if it's used as a reason not to do those other things, then we believe that is the kind of policy that's counterproductive. So we see mask use in the broader context of a comprehensive strategy, um, and, and in that sense will support member states who wish to introduce that as long as it does not take masks out of the healthcare environment um, and, and people know how to wear them, know how to dispose of them, and are doing all the other things that they need to do.